Thanks for staying with us. So broadcaster Rufai Hosseini trended all through Monday after he came online to accuse the police officers of pointing a gun at him and forcefully taking his car keys, driving off with the car. The officers had arrested him for taking um, the dedicated lane, that's the BRT lane. In the viral video that was released yesterday, Rufai was seen threatening the police officers that he would call the governor on them. However, he has since received a lot of backlash from Nigerians, with some people saying he was abusing his access to the governor to intimidate the police officers. Now, there are various angles and various layers to this conversation. It's interesting because there's always a Nigerian factor of, do you know who I am? Do you know I can call the governor? And there's also a part of, was he provoked? So you can look at this from different angles. Let's hear, let's hear your thoughts. You can call us on 081-270-53687, 0191-390-7694. You can also tweet us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweet. So there are four <coughs> levels. Drama. Four. Level one, he sent a tweet that the police took his car. And of course, he made a fuss of it on TV, right? Mm -hmm. So we all saw that. And how can the police do that? That would discuss police brutality. With a gun to his face. So they, they had wielded a gun and, you know, tried cocking the gun. He drove off his car. Yeah, drove his car. But though he had admitted initially that he took the BRT lane and he saw others passing that lane. So why is it he they arrested? They arrested? That's one. Number two, um, the police, the, so yesterday we saw a, what they call it, a, a, a video mm -hmm. that surfaced that showed where he was saying, bloody bastard, I'll call the governor. He apologized for that. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm telling you, I'll come in one by one. Second video we saw where he was threatening the governor, that he was threatening the police that he would call the governor. Oh, the Abi, governor, yeah. that was the second video. Yeah. And we saw him with the electricity. I even thought the electricity would come to him. I was going to say, wait, hey, in this work, in this work that we're doing, but no problem. But I saw that video. The second thing, we saw his video, apologizing <coughs> for using the word bloody bastard, and also saying that he was, there's nothing wrong in him saying he'll call the governor because he has a right to, he has access to him, he can call the governor. And explain that the car doesn't belong to him, that his friends come. You know, he, took, he apologized. Now, the, third, the fourth one, is that we got a tweet from the PRO Lagos State saying that, okay, he was shot to court yesterday, he had paid the fine of 70,000 Naira, mm -hmm. and there has been cars been returned to we him. So, things. case closed. <clears throat> but the conversation is, should, what, what, how would you try to unpack this? At what level would you like to come in? His behavior, the fact that people are saying that he was arrogant, the others are saying that he must have been provoked. What are your thoughts on this? Let me let Tokwe start. <laughs> okay, so... Um, I feel Ruf, um, Rufai has been in Lagos for many years and has also been in the media for many years and we, all of us know what the rules are. We know that um, BRC lane is not meant to be passed through. But in my head I was wondering, okay, yeah, this is someone that works from Lekki to VI for many years, probably not a mainland person, coming to the mainland for the first time in a long while. What kind of stuff is mm -mm. And then he was wondering. I'm just like, okay, maybe he now saw people were driving through this lane. Maybe because there's traffic, they allowed them to pass through the lane. He entered, and then they stopped him. The conversation ensued. His ego took over. Because when I watched those vid the videos, I knew the ego took over. I had a drama yesterday, serious drama. I keep all my documents proper. I don't follow one way. I don't do all those things. I only follow one way when there is um, clear de demarcation that turned this way. So when... The FRSA official stopped me yesterday at Alaro and asked for my document. I said, I have. I was even, you know, we had this talking oh, topic yes. yesterday. So I was smiling that he pull again. I gave documents, gave everything. He asked for, you know, when they want to just check everything. Yeah. Fire extinguisher. I said, see, I've had the fire incident. I have fire extinguisher in my house, smoke detector in my kitchen. Please check. My driver got down and they opened the boot and they don't see fire extinguisher. Ah. Bashiru, where is fire extinguisher? Who removed it? He said, when he was washing the car, oh, he God. put it in the other car. I said, and you heard me telling him. Why didn't hey. you just say immediately so we turned the question to a beg beg conversation? But immediately that happened. The man walked away, wrote his um, ticket. ticket to us. And I, like, I, when he walked away, I told him, like, you saw that I had every other thing. Like, you, all my documentation were complete. The fire exhibition, the driver was telling you that he was washing car, he dropped it. Hey. You just want to show. Ego. He's not conscious. He will show up. And I just told the media, I said, we discussed this thing on the show this morning. You guys don't like people being nice to you. If the minute you stopped me, and many people were trying to do this, they were trying to stop them. As they try to stop them, they drive off. They don't wait. I said, that's what you people like, because if we are cordial with mm -hmm. you, so if I did not entertain yesterday. this conversation this far, you will not get to the point of fire extinguisher to harass. And I do not have any case against FRSC before. I could have gotten a warning. 
Ah, don't try this again. Sir, ma, there was a problem that happened there yesterday. That's why we're checking for fire extinguisher. Mm. Next time, please ensure you have it in your yeah. car. You write a warning, yeah. I go. Yeah. But it was ego, his ego yeah. was to show that. Mm. Because I told him, I said, see, I have everything. Don't, don't worry. Catch it, so I started checking, 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 checking. I know the way ego works. Mm. I also went on him. Of course, I would, I'm not an insulting person. What is inside you will come out when you are under pressure. Yeah. So your insult came out, Mr. Rufai, and I'm happy you apologized because that shows that you can be corrected. When the issue came out, I felt like I, could, I didn't call anybody. I, I have numbers. I told him, I said, I have numbers. I didn't call because it's just not the right thing to do. Mm. And that's the thing. The fact that you have access doesn't mean you should abuse it. You have been found disobeying the law. You just pay and so, come, okay. with humility you go. Mm. So when I saw mm. those videos after this happened yesterday, I have not even seen all the other mm. videos of mm. the drama that happened yeah. with Rufai. Yeah. When I saw those videos, I said, this is his ego. This is the fact that you're feeling like I am too important for this kind of thing to happen to me. Yeah. And it can happen to every one of us. We must always checkmate ourselves before we start feeling like we are God. Okay. You are not. Okay, let me, let me come to you, Nima, because, they, I mean, we all face these things all the time. And I was saying the other day, yesterday, that sometimes you just say, oh, God, please, no vex. I don't have this thing. Yes. And sometimes they're polite, but I hear you. You are so nice. That's yeah, not speaking that English. Is. But if you just go wait to collect what else I go, you be the, it's easier that way. So, we did now say, how do we balance this thing? Yes. So, just because Stockwell cited the road safety experience, I have two. In fact, three that advise what I do when I'm with them. If the police stops me, I pack well. If the road safety stops me, the first thing I do is call somebody that I know. That's mm. the truth. So this is the experience of my late father when he was coming from Auchi to Lagos on that Benin road. They will stop you and you can be there till the next day. Your entire family will worry. They don't care. So when I was coming from home as well, I was stopped. The moment I remembered this is their star and the driver that was driving was acting all like mad, I called somebody. Please, they have stopped me. Can you talk to somebody so that I'm clear? Or they know because I, I don't want, I wanted to get I was by I left Auchi around 10 and I was at one o'clock I was already at Ori. So see me see Lagos. Mm. Don't stress me. But if you were doing your job as you should, tear a ticket, say you can go ahead mm, because other people are, no problem. But you would be there. They'll tell you the bank did the other. My father was running and I remember that day I kept calling from Lagos. What is happening? So mm. I don't want any Iran officer. Mm. Do it, gra, gra, because you'll be provoked. And what you saw with Rufai doing was reactionary. Mm -hmm. He didn't, he, he, according to him, he didn't, it wasn't clear as to a diversion that made him go into a BRT lane. Me, I was clear as to a diversion at Mount 2. They carried me going that bridge in Igomu. Mm. It's not only Rufai that called people, it's just the way he called the people. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way, he, if you know somebody, you call somebody not, so that you don't even get kidnapped. I mm. thought I was being kidnapped that morning. At six, daylight has not even reached. I've not even seen morning light. I left at six, but everywhere was still dark. I remember that. And they just entered the car with guns in front of me. Not be one, no. Bam, bam, bam. I was alone in my car. Mm. The first thing I thought, they're police. Be civil, be civil. <coughs> I was not thinking fast. I opened my door. They jumped in. Madam, come down. Go to the back. Go to the back. I was being kidnapped. Yeah. That's, not the, that's not the way to arrest somebody. Yeah. And I wasn't even on a one way. You, you now said, this is a one way. I said, but there's a diversion ahead. He refused to admit that diversion. The next day I went there, I went live. There was a clear diversion announced by the Commissioner for Transport in Lagos. Mm. And they carried my car to Igomonda Bridge mm. alone. Okay. And we even had to call somebody mm. for that officer to be insane. Okay, so I get oh, that. You don't so, really should be so calling somebody. In Nigeria, no, is this time? You, yeah. you will say, I will call somebody. When you know, to, you, know you need to call somebody. Just be calling the person. Sir, listen, they don't carry me. What's in the apple? You yeah, need to call see, somebody. But we have to, we have to discuss this. Is that the right thing? To, if, if you are, if you are, listen, I'm going to finish. Thing. If you are wrong, if you are clearly on the wrong, you didn't see a diversion. Oh, there was a diversion, right? I saw yeah. a diversion. This is everybody <laughs> that was born yesterday knows that there's a BRT lane in this lake. Don't tell yeah. me that Isla Mainland. Everybody knows BRT lane. Yeah. If it is diversion, we know they didn't put signboard. But yeah. come on. BRT, we know. And he himself admitted. Yes, I entered BRT lane because I saw others. He entered BRT so lane. Let me but finish. Was there, wait, Namurao. He entered BRT lane. But what we have not heard from the government was, is there, was there a diversion? I have been on Nicole. Do you know that we are We know see I'm wait now. Nima, this is what no, I'm just holding wait. Let me land this argument. I have been on the Korodu Road from Ojota and there was a diversion from Maryland and we went to pull out at Antonio into the BRT lane. Do you that, is, that, that is when there's issue. But yeah, he, yeah. Let's so, see you know you saw was there an issue? There was no issue. other cars on the normal road. Now let's, let's not bring that mm. argument into this. Mm. It this doesn't concern this one. When there's that an issue, Mariah, let the me... point I'm trying to make mm. is, in the video we saw, there were cars driving. It was clearly you did enter BRT. Mm. The man himself admitted, say yes, I entered BRT. 
because I saw other guys go it and I thought it was okay. Fine, police came. And the, the fine is they are allowed to seize your car. Standards. The, the police, police, the police they are allowed to seize what they was you they caught. And they seized your car. Your head did not carry the bad thing. So, the, so they caught you. <laughs> now they've seized your car. Mm. But because you are upset that they seized your car, you call somebody who has a Lexus 570. The, gov <laughs> the kind of car the go governor is driving. The kind of car the owner of is driving. Comes with their own entourage, with their own big bands. Now, when I, when I, when I kind of drove in, now I felt like, but yes, police, that's, see, see who I am? You now go there and go and tell them that I will call the governor because you've seen the car, 750 Lexus. Uh, I'll be 570 Lexus. You know I'm this is who I am. It. So mm. is that ego that entered your system? Yeah. That you now spoke to the governor, but spoke, spoke yeah. to the police, but said, let me just jump in here. So, what are your thoughts on this entire episode? Yeah, so when people are doing the wrong thing, um, I'm very weary of joining them because there's nobody looking. That's what I see on Nigerian roads. So the, the parts are there, there's a bit of traffic on the other side, and you see buses taking that BRT, pia, pia, pia. As you put your head, if your head does not carry bad thing, they will catch you. <laughs> and then you start saying, did you not see these buses? How many people will they catch? Yeah, you are so, the scapegoat. Yeah, so so why don't you, you just avoid doing that mm. when you know it is wrong? That's one. Secondly, when they now catch you that you have committed an offense, be humble. Mm -hmm. Nobody cares who you are. Mm -hmm. Two weeks ago, I was heading out to Miriam, and we just passed the road. We did not see any diversion. And they, bakam, omo. Come and see Mary and speaking English. Eh. Me too, sir. We are very sorry, sir. We are yeah. very <laughs> sorry, sir. It's not like I cannot call anybody, yeah. mm. but I just know I'm wrong. Yeah. There's nothing I can do. Even if I call the person mm. and the person does, I know we sit here and we preach. Yeah. We need to begin to yeah. practice what we, we preach. preach. I am wrong, I am wrong. I have to apologize for that. And Tope said something about ego, which is very, very important. And it's both we, ways. Ego. It's both ways, yes. The police will show for the... Uh, uh, I have the yes, gun, I have everything. And I wish that the uh, Nigerian uh, um, security agencies will learn to give people uh, benefit of doubt. And I think because they also do not have data to check your name if you have committed this offense before, they should be able to give people a pass. Okay, you are, they check and you are a first offender. You are a second offender. The third time, sir, if your name pops up when we click it, we're going to take you. They even have a system. It's I understand that people who live abroad will tell you that when these sort of things happen, they check your name. Oh, it's the first time. And you explain, okay, I passed here. I did not see. And they will understand. But here, as if everybody's waiting to yes. catch somebody who mm. have finished you today, yeah. we need to begin to work on that. Like, and for um, ourselves, when we want to show that we, we know somebody, this is not the time for it. Everybody knows somebody. Even the person you're yeah. calling knows somebody. So just be humble. Let me take a break. When we come back, we continue with this conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So still on this Rufa issue. So we're talking about the what happened or what possibly happened. Mm -hmm. But the real crux of this conversation for me is not about what happened or what didn't happen. It's the um, hypocrisy of how we are so quick to talking and condemning in our country. We are so um, vociferous in speaking against the government, what they do, what they, how they are bad. Forgetting that, and I always say, we the people, we are just as bad as the government we condemn. It's easy for us to criticize every day. Every day we can say, oh, governor, someone did this. Oh, this person did that, that person. But when you are abuse in governor, power. When, you are, when you are in that situation, you abuse the power even much more. So if you have influence, if you know the governor, if you know the if you call Buhari Sef, because I know Buhari. Mm. Now, because you are, you are a Nigerian, for you it's normal to brandish that to somebody who you feel is lowly or who you feel that doesn't have, doesn't have the audacity to be talking to you anyhow. Mm. It's our Nigerian problem. So what happened or didn't happen is a side issue. Mm. But the real conversation is that all of us say, we're all talking, talk is cheap. If you're in that situation, would you do exactly what I did? If we are all there, are we all going to say, yes, I know the governor, I can call the governor on speed dial. He would arrest you. Would you, would you will this one? So I, I mean, the other day, I mean, I don't know this, was, this was, was it last year or two years ago, I was arrested. This, that, that our junction in there for my day staff. Oh, okay. You know, you can go, they allow you, doing school okay. hours, they allow you. I, didn't, I, I went to pass there and they stopped me. They arrested me. I followed them, they jailed to the police station. I paid the fine. It was when I was leaving. Somebody now recognized me. Oh, I'm not good. The ones that collected my money came to my do selfie with me. Huh? Took picture. They all I'll laughed. I'll not take any picture. They, I mean, after I was angry, I was, I was really upset, but they came to laugh no with me. Picture. They took picture. Mm. I just, I gave it to 25,000 there. I'm like, what? 25,000 that I paid. Then about a week or so after, 
Where I was arrested, so they, were, they, were, they were looking for my car. Then I came to apologize to me. I'm so sorry, man. But that day, police was there. They, 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 no, these guys are there. I think, I think it's um, other, last they're ma, last ma guys. Yes. And I apologized to me that police was there that day and they couldn't tell them that they're so sorry that they arrested me. Mm. And, I, and, I, and, I, and we moved on. But you see, it was part of the humility mm -hmm. that we as Nigerians, we need. Mm -hmm. we, we, do. we need that humility because the policemen are equally frustrated as we are. Mm. So it, who, is, who is stepping down in yeah. this situation? Mm. So we discussed it yesterday that um, sometimes... Everybody carry me crazy for Everybody. Heads. Yes, mm -hmm. and we are all under the same pressure. I reacted yesterday in the way that even I was shocked. I was like, why would you write me? It's not like, it's, I, like I have fire extinguisher. I can even dash out. The last time Sector Commander, Sector Commander for Lagos came here, he gave us fire extinguisher. He gave me fire extinguisher. So I had. So I was like, if it's an offense that I, like, I, mean, is a, like I did something wrong, that we forgot it, just penalize and say, let mm. us show it, you know. But his reaction made me so... And then anyway. I'm like, we are all facing the same stress. Nigeria is Compound dealing with it. you mm. the way it's dealing with me. Yeah. So where am I going to get this money from? And I, I gave it to him like that. But I, at, at no point did I say, I'm, I will now say I want to start calling somebody. And make why did I not scene. do that? You didn't make a scene. Why did I, well, of course, I did not make a scene. Yeah, why did, why, why did I not scene. do that? Because my uncle, my dad's elder brother, was the first um, head of LASMA. He, actually, he set up LASMA on that in the Buddha time. And I remember my, when I was growing up that my mom would be like, ah, you have Baba Komini, Oga Lasma, I recall. My, my uncle would tell you, or was former commissioner of police in Lagos State too, Udubela, he would tell you that if you disobey, I will help you pay the fine. But you will I pay. will not influence Anything. them against you. This is the government, the gov if, you are, if you are wrong. So I still have that thing in my head. I also remember with um, the former governor of Lagos, Fashala, that he does not entertain, Just he will call me, and then I will not help you. That's not his style. Mm. So sometimes we have this system of I recall. Yeah. Is a system that we need to stop. It yeah. works Perhaps now. Yeah. It me... works because it helps. And I know a lot of times, sometimes I feel bad when I, when I get caught. And call, it, it helps like me. What's his last name? I call him. Yes. yes. Him job, but but, but hey. the point is we need to stop it because the yeah. spiritual effect, the long-term effect of it is terrible. Yeah. No, no, but no, how? No. Let me just quickly land this one. Call the governor. Mm. As in, how can no, you say you will call the governor? Let him call the governor. The governor, 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 the I will you call cannot them. call him based Tope. on the governor. Let me you explain. can call him as a friend. Wait, I'm not see, you're making me miss my uh -uh. words so that it doesn't seem like I'm, I'm encouraging impunity. Yeah. Let me land what I okay. need to say here. We've, we know Nigerians have been in situations where the best thing that you could have done was call somebody. Absolutely, you're right. The other time I came to supply rice, I chatted the boss. <laughs> boss reached, they stopped him. I didn't know the federal city had a rule against uh, arresting small bosses. The guy that stopped him, was at his height, and I refused to interfere. I just kept quiet. He said, I've, 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 take your tickets, go and pay. We went into the yard, and the, the person in charge of that yard was like, who, who had, he came into work and was like, who arrested this boss? Who arrested this boss? I was shocked. If I had made the, 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 yeah. the, the, the thing, I would have found that somebody yeah, was trying to... Right. He wanted that money in his pocket, and I said, give him a ticket, we'll go and pay. So you're right, And I went to pay. In the Nigerian system, uh -uh. you better call somebody. Sometimes you, know, you need so to call right. somebody just it's for clarity. important. Clients. Calling somebody is Making important. Making a scene. But when you are it's wrong... problem. That's the issue. When you are wrong... The issue is you don't must... be wrong. <laughs> when you are caught wrong... Yes. If, just to be sure, call somebody. Yes. Another example, example that happened, we're going, I was going home at yes. Alaki, that's six. There was so such mad traffic, and I'd gone almost to Agoju. I just saw this traffic; it was endless ahead. I checked the map; it was all red all the way to Alakija. What happened? I started asking by guys. What did they happen? What did they happen? Ah, container don't follow. Who's supposed to know that container has fallen? He wrote the last one, guys. Mm -hmm. And what did they do? They diverted all the cars into the yard. They were arresting cars. I'm like, oh. Don't try me! I will call. Yeah. There's, a, yeah, right. there's a falling Call down the container the ahead. <laughs> you should be calling an emergency to help us because if yeah. you get stuck yeah. there, I know what will happen to yeah, you. Right. You'll be robbed, you'll be maimed, you could be raped yeah. in traffic. So, that, so sometimes, yeah, I'm not right. holding brief, I'm not supporting immunity. Yeah, 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 but the yeah, yeah, agency yeah, yeah. cannot yeah. fail and then say you are calling yeah. somebody. Call, call somebody if you need to. Catherine has been holding for a while. Come on, you are right. Catherine, are you there? You are wrong. P. I am here. You're live. Go ahead, please. This Nigeria is happening to everybody. Everybody, no. Our credit. Abba, All right, I'm no waiting bad. on the call. No All bad. right, so straight, straight to it, right? <clears throat> you see, this matter, eh, it, it's something that we all, all Nigerians have to learn this thing called humility. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. I agree that there are times where you'll be on your right and the law enforcement agencies will want to mess you up. I agree. But when you are wrong, step down. Yes. As a soldier myself, if you try that thing with me, you will sleep in that place. We yeah. will dead here together. Yeah. You will dead here together. What is it? You are wrong, you are wrong. If I couldn't catch everybody, at least I have to catch one person to stop mm -hmm. the rest. That is it. So if you are wrong, you plead your case and let's settle it amicably. I will definitely not ask you to, to, to bribe me. That is me for you. I will never ask for bribe. So if we can settle this here, we settle this. If I will let you go, I will let you go. But I have to stop every other person. If I will not let you go, we will settle this every, anywhere we want to settle. If the governor likes letting it come, we will settle the matter. Uh-uh, Nigerians have to Thank learn you. how to talk. How to then the profanity he used, I mean, yes, he has apologized for that. Mm -hmm. But see, it's part of the ego. Yeah. Plain, left hands. So, so, yeah. so we didn't, we missed, the, we didn't cover the video where the police probably aggravated him. Because yeah. we're almost certain yes. for him to get to that point. And, and I think, uh, was it uh, the post PRO yesterday was saying that anybody can record. Both police and you go, you're yeah. allowed to record. Mm. So I think we, we are clear that police record, you record, let us see what happened. Mm. So we shall even see where the, the police may have aggravated him. Or, or maybe they didn't even aggravate him. It's the fact that they he took his car. The fact that was they angry. Was yeah. Yeah. even held yes, him. So the thing is, um, we need to be very careful when it comes to how we speak to people. Mm. And the, the, there's something I saw recently. We said that uh, you don't know anybody till you fight them mm. it's what's inside that comes out when you fight especially when the person is looking at you in a condescending manner you know there's a way nigerians look down on these security officials mm. especially those ones who misbehave the ones who are dressed properly who talk to you properly we don't disregard them easily but you see those ones that just come out and brandish i remember this incident there was a time very early in the morning we we're heading to work on the island from the mainland at the time and they stopped us and ka -ka 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 as if we're robbers only me and my boyfriend at the time. Omo, I lay down on the floor. I was screaming and I was rolling. That was all I could do. I didn't have, know anybody to call. And the guy was like, why is this guy misbehaving? Why is this guy misbehaving? Oh, so if he doesn't marry you, you will die. I said, I will die, yo. You people should not kill him for me. I had to behave like a mad person till we got out of that situation because it is needed. So it's about wisdom, weighing it. When you are wrong, accept that you are wrong and be humble. When you're in your right and you want Let's to call, even don't even put it in people's face that you are calling. Please, stop Quietly it. step out and make your call. And however I want to panna, no. let it panna. But that's call. when you tell somebody, I will, I will do this. Yes. I will show you. I don't think it's necessary. Yes. Mm. Mm. Lamleka, are you there? I'm there. I'm there with you. You're live. Good Go morning. ahead, please. Thanks for calling. Yes, sir. Fine. You guys are doing wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. What happened is this issue you guys are discussing. There was a period at uh, Sele. I was sending from that uh, Sele bridge, heading to uh, Son of Sight. Uh. So I was diverted from, by one officer that okay, they are working on the other line that followed this road. I did on that road. I was told I was on one way. I said, ah, one of your officers directed me to the right. He said, no, 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 no. I said, okay, let's come back. They inquired my car. And, I, and I, in the business of turning back, we met the guy that said, but I said, no, I did that. I almost talked to the guy that did that. But you're the one that directed me to follow this line. Mm -hmm. They did that when they discovered the chaos. They just want to make money out of you. The same thing yesterday, at the airport, I went to pick one of my younger cousins from the UK. I was heading a stand in my car. So I just passed by. Let me check what's there. They saw passing by. I saw two vehicles that passed. I never knew they like uh, this airport section. The two of them were discussing what was even you raised today. Checking the bank, you could see what was making noise. They came around, they told my vehicle that I told them, okay, don't pay or follow me. I ended up paying 10500 They took me to one corner at the back of the airport bank that I had. What do we do to those people in there? And I'm not sure the money is going to government for him. It's certainly not. So if I have anybody to call yeah. that time, who I call? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I get that. I wanted to say, yes. so let's even define what is wrong. Mm. These same police officers constantly confused with what is wrong or right. Yeah. One morning on our way to work, because BC gave this example, five police officers were driving separate cars. Then I used to drive separate cars with my, from my husband. He was ahead of me. We were even quarreling. So the guy was going, so I was doing my own. So I like, sp spotted this car ahead. Five police officers, one brandishing gun in all the different uni uniforms, right in front of La Casera at uh, mile two. Okay. And I was like, ah. What are they arresting the guy? For? This one, they don't they drag his shirt. This is somebody dressed to go to the bank, pulling him. And every... Your husband? Yes. 
I come down sharp sharp. Yeah. Whether I kidnap her, yeah. I did not call her. <laughs> I did not call her. I remember my own chill roots. I go crazy. Yes, yeah, so immediately. Officer shoot us. We die all of us. What did he do? Who did? <laughs> and at this point, they went to take him to an interview. I said, we that, what did he do? What is his offense? So I went crazy. You know what they did? They got in their car and drove off and left us there. Hmm. No offense. Save me. So my husband was saying, they told him that parking on the service lane is now a crime. You, oh, do you know you committed a crime? You're on the service lane. You're on the service lane. How can you park on the service lane? How does parking on the service lane become a crime? Which one gonna be crime? Do you understand? You, when a police officer stops your car, you somebody will give you a clear information of how, of how mm, you have been wrong. Yeah, but that's you the right know, thing to no, you find wrong. He entered their route. See, somebody have already yeah, 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 I'm just yeah, saying yeah, that yeah, there are yeah, several yeah, other examples yeah, that yeah, happen to Nigerians. Right. We, no, we are here. So, we uh, uh, complain of police brutality. Uh -huh. we, we are in Nigeria. We in know. Yes, there are so many situations whereby you do not see any signage. This direct. happened on Agege Motor. But this thing now. Agege Motor presently is under construction. The man himself said this. We are not entering. We don't want to defend what is indefensible. Let's go to the break. Oh, no. Don't kill. It's not angle we've not discussed. <laughs> Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. We have Yakub on the phone. Good morning, Yakub. Are you there? Well, I am there. Good morning. You're live. Go ahead, please. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Is it where you? You all have spoke so well. And then uh, uh, Sister Tokwe said something earlier about ego. I think uh, ego is something that is okay, but I want to give you very fine time information here. Mm -hmm. You see, for example, let me use this my area as an example from my uh, illicit. Mm -hmm. uh, down to Abu mm -hmm. if you just follow BRT lane, and then this, this guy catch you, you are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are done for it. Because, you see, if you see all these yellow balls follow this uh, BRT lane, Mariah, do you know something? These guys are waiting for my car to be cash. They are work hand in hand. I can tell you that for free. If you see them, they are not saying that. Okay, this is yellow body is following them. It's a lie. They are the people. They will yes. say the yellow body. They know themselves. They will ask them to follow that place. Yes. And then when you not see yellow body following them, then you are, you are a car. You know, they say the yellow body is following them. <laughs> for all you, you there, the yellow That's body okay. will be passing yes. and then they will just stop you. Yes. You, you. You will not say that this is yellow body. They say how many of them do you want to catch? That mm. is a fallacy yes. because they are working hand in hand. Mm. And then about the about the fire and Sibusha, but I, do you know something? You see, all these are uh, people that uh, all these uh, uh, security officers. You, you you are saying that my car should be using fire and Sibusha. And then the people that is carrying load of people, they are not seeing it that it does not matter for them to use fire and Sibusha. Mm. But they can that is carrying one or two people, you are asking for fire and Sibusha. Mm. What about all about the people carrying 18 passengers, 14 passengers? The fire mm. fire and Sibusha mm. does not matter. What 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 the country that we are? Good man, mm. God okay, bless so you. Sir. Let's so the, the, let's bring two issues now. Let's imagine, indeed, maybe there was some issue that he couldn't figure out where the BRT lane was, and he entered it. And you're, you're, you're a TV personality, you're a presenter on television, you criticize the government, that this, that that, and then they arrest you. And you, you're already angry that, listen, I'm going somewhere, I don't know it was the BRT lane, the other people that passes through, why are you bothering me, you know? But there should be a way you convey that message to the police officer that knows you're doing it respectfully. Yes. Now, if you had even been arrested, and as a law-abiding citizen, agree to pay your 70000 naira fine and go to the police, pay and go. Nobody will know about this thing. Mm -hmm. But by yourself for yourself, when you recorded, it public, try. put it on Twitter, and that's the other angle I want us to go into. Because every little thing for us is something we need to publicize. Mm. Every single thing that happens to you, somebody comb my head the wrong way. Ah, I've combed, I've taken a picture. Imagine today, they comb my head this wrong way, and you post it on social media. Hey. Because it was by himself that he posted initially. He did yes. not post. If he did not post, we don't know. You have just generally go there, pay yourself ticket, and go right. home. Mm. You can say the next day, but the other day I was arrested. Da, 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 da. The guy's coming. I was very upset. I was I moved on. Me too. But for that need for, let me just project. Let me just project. The government that's bad. The police is bad. They are horrible. They are terrible. They are killing. Let me just post it. Mm. And then we come and see. Oh, they are back. Come and see what they did to me oh, yesterday. Oh. Is that the social responsibility? that we as a people should do. Yes, the government is bad in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. Yes, they, they, they have their own issues. But why are we so quick? It's called crying wolf. That's like this. Crying I, wolf. You think yes, it's crying wolf? it was crying wolf. You know, he was wrong. And, he, and he, what he did was say, they took my car. Yes. They didn't talk to me. 
you know, create a, a, a fear. They pointed the a gun at me and took my car. So give half of the story and all half that one. And post it on social media. Yes. And then that goes viral. Because you yes. know you have that effect. You have that mm. influence. You know people. He went on Twitter. And so Twitter was boiling. Gra, 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 gra. Ah, they don't catch your Police brutality. Yeah. Those were the sensitivities that people played on. Mm. That, you know, that caused the answers. Some people yeah. were guilty. I know some boys that were, once the police speaks, then they'll say, ah, they'll go on live, they'll start screaming. The crime itself, they will hide that part and be saying they brutalized me. Yes, yes. We saw a police officer on a lucky way. He stopped a one way car and the young man, as if on drugs, yes. shouting. Yeah, 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 yeah. He drove at him, he tried to drive into him, and the police officer comported himself, even though he had a gun. He didn't do nothing to him. So we know these people who plan and yeah. say have truths. Yes. That for me was okay, totally, okay. totally wrong. Let me, let me take Tunji. Tunji's been holding for a while. Good morning, Tunji. Are you there? Hello? Yes. You're live. Yeah, good, good morning. Good morning. morning. Yes, Tunji. And, and, and your colleagues. My name is Tunde Raji. I'm a next staff of Lamata. Oh, Tunde Raji. Okay. <laughs> okay. Welcome yes, to the show. I'm a next staff of Lamata. Okay. okay. You see, I was there that day. I was passing by. I was driving. And I saw the sign, Tunde Raji, not Tunji, Tunde okay, Raji. Raji okay, yeah. okay. Uh, yes, I was passing by, and then I saw, I saw the sign, I saw him arguing with his people, please. So what I did was to slow down. There was no traffic, actually. There wasn't traffic when I got there. So I actually wanted to pull back, but there was no refuge at the side. That was after he left it, to walk the cage along. Mm. And I slowed down. And I went down, I said... Rupai was the problem and was coming towards me. He explained to me what the problem was. But I, I could not, I was, I was, I was actually creating reasons behind. So I decided to, I just said, please resolve them, please resolve them. Because I was a staff of Lamarck, I would have been of no. What I would have told those people is to just tell them that, please, uh, perhaps you take him to a separate place and you resolve it. But um, I was so surprised that this, that like you degenerated into thought. He would have spoken to them the language they understood. Mm. He would have spoken to them that, see, hey, I am going on, on, uh, on emergency, mm. this and that. By his personality, they, perhaps they would have gone um, had clemency on him. Mm. But he started calling people on phone and school. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that, because that's part of the emotional intelligence yeah. you talk about all the time. Yeah. yeah, you know, social media has been given to us as a tool for development, and we can use it both ways. Mm either for good or for evil. Mm -hmm. Now, evil is when you know that you are wrong, but because you feel you have gotten to a level in that social media, you have a number of followers, you are doing a job that people know you, you can tweak it and then mm. get people on your side against the other person. That mm. is pure evil. But sometimes, it's it's, uh, honestly, it's important that you show what is happening, especially when it comes to this case of intimidation. We know that there are some of these officials who, especially in the early hours of the morning, who are drunk. Yeah. You yes. can smell it from yeah. their breath. They mm -hmm. are waving their gun anyhow. It's another time to show, in case anything happens, that this is what the situation that I have found myself in. Not because you have a, a, a platform that would enable yeah. people, yeah. you know, speak against the government or speak yeah. against uh, uh, the uh, security officials, but because you are doing this for safety purposes. Not that mm. Nigerians, we know this is where I am. So we need to be very, mm. very careful. And don't think, see, every platform that God gives to you is for you to do good. Mm. It's for you to bring uh, 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 humanity into that light. Always ask yourself, what am I doing with this? Am I using it to oppress other people who do not have this opportunity? Mm. Or am I using it to speak for them? At every point in time, even when you are faced in a situation like this, when I was caught recently, me and Mary and were going out, nobody saw it on social media. We did not post anything. Post we words. were obviously wrong. They caught us. I had to humble myself. She humbled herself. And we were sorry. We honestly did not see this. And we did not make any mm. post. Mm. Mm. Imagine if I got on my uh, 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 phone to do, hello, this is this, so and so. They just mm. caught us. I did not do this. I did not do that. I'm beginning to use yeah. the opportunity that I have for evil. See, we need me, to really be careful. Another, another angle related to this. Because sometimes when I see things on social media, I wonder... Do these people want to burn down this country? Mm. I have to ask you, do you want to burn down this country? Because what I tell you, intense? I don't have a second passport. This is all I have. So many of you who just post things, I mean, I now realize, Nima, if you would like to know, many, of, many I don't say that's all if I did, but there are many people that do these things for international attention. Mm. You get international recognition. Oh, he fights corruption. 
Wow. Oh, he fights the government. They'll give you international record. They'll, they'll fly you to one country. They'll give you an award. You get a recognized. Asylum. You get wow. asylum. Wow. You get all sorts of attention international. And you are there following these people, mm. saying, oh, come down the country. And they've come. They, they, they're beating me up. They've done this. You not get social media following, and then one international body not comes to you, bring you to Boston, give you a fantastic award, and you're a hero, and your family will go and to you America. Forget the and forget the masses. The masses, you don't forget the masses. Don't put fire for So house. when I saw that thing happen, there was somebody that happened to me, and I went, eh? Now, wow. So you too, you can do this kind of thing. I don't follow those people anymore. When I just mm. see them just trying to gain attention mm. by mm. dehumanizing and de denigrating the country that we live in. So even though, and when people say, oh, Mariah, you're always supporting the government, it's not because I want to support the government. The government, if I'm in this country, mm -hmm. but we must constantly wait yeah. because some of us don't have options. So um, regarding <sighs> one well. of the things that we must realize with social media is what you leave, um, you, you can't have erase you, it. Let me pause you. Have a call. Good, morning. Call. Good morning, are you there? Good Hello, morning, you're live. Morning. Go ahead, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You're live. Go ahead, yeah. sir. Yeah, I appreciate your discussion this morning. I think this is a social issue in our society. And uh, I won't lie to you. The activities of LASMA, BIO, and uh, road safety in Lagos is becoming something else. Sometimes you, you wonder whether we actually have laws regulating these guys in the street. We discover most times they are just interested in arresting. Mm. You will see a last night officer where there is a serious traffic ahead of him. He is looking for someone to arrest. Yeah. You will see a road safety person standing on the highway when you discover that there is high trunk of vehicles the road safety officer will raise up his hand on the middle of the road. Nigerians are very good people. Mm. If not, these guys, many of them will have been killed on the road, off, mm. and drove up. We have our gadgets. We have offices across the country, especially in Lagos, where you discover a GIO officer in a, in, in a place where you have a numerous vehicle. There will cause traffic, and last night officials will not even stop them from causing traffic. They won't be able to even manage the traffic. Mm. Going from Maryland towards Antony. Right. And every from Antony towards the should be. Mm. You will see areas of cars, areas in that place, in that yes, spot. That's a hot spot. When you spot. see the area of the traffic, they won't yes. even do anything. What they need is just for them mm. to arrest the vehicle who does not have what they, what, what they needed. Right. Thank there you is no. Answer. Thank you. Yes, Brother Wayne. So um, I want to talk about social media and the way. Any, it's, it's a tool and it can incite. And people can read meanings. People will share related stories. It's, it's, it's a huge platform and it's a responsibility. Like you must know that this is the responsibility. I have, I hold this as a responsibility. So the, the first sentiment that came out was everybody was feeling for Rufai. Ah, how, even somebody that has, has I, I hope as, as Rufai can experience this kind of thing. What would that happen right. to lowly me? Oh, this country. Uh -uh. Somebody that is a recognizable face. This country is this, this country is that. People started saying all sorts of things. Until we now saw the other side of the story. At every point in time, we have a responsibility. I said earlier, I said, if you are wrong, if you know you are wrong, just pay and quietly go. If you know you are right, and there is something you are being your... Um, you, your right is being trampled on. Make every phone call, record everything you can record because your right is being trampled on. But if you are wrong, simply pay and quietly oh, go. Yeah. This man just gave example of people, um, traffic, um, 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 last mile officials, or not even last mile, security officials trying to make money. You know that it's, it's as if they have a target. And mm -hmm. we've heard it before, and I really like to ask a police officer, as my official, is it that you have already given your men on the streets targets to catch yes. 10 people? Yes. So they need to catch 10 people. Yes. They will stop as many traffic to catch 10 people. Yes. When they have caught 10 people, they can now relax and let you go. Sometimes it feels like it's that way because you see them, they'll be looking, looking until they find something. They don't see you. And that person, that's, until that's they get. That's what road safety do. They will check for your light. Yes, they will, they will look. Somebody stopped everything. me and said, my, back, my brake light is not working. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. I did not know. It was going to, I said, I said, thank you, I did not know. I'm not supposed to know the break light. Is. I didn't know, actually, I didn't know, and I fixed it. You don't know when it's uh -uh. Okay, that's my final call. We have to wrap up on this. Good morning, Andy, are you there? Good morning, ladies. You're live. Can you hear me, please? Very yes, clearly. Go ahead, please. 
uh, I just want to contribute to this issue of uh, uh, Rofa. Uh, what I understand from this system is that uh, Nigeria is still using an analog system. Yeah. Here in Europe, we don't have any police or any traffic warrants to be on the road when you go against the traffic uh, road. Why can't they keep camera there? Camera can control everything, whether you really commit the offense or not. Don't need to appeal to call anybody. You are camera and the government has to say, even when you are paying the bill, you don't know who sent the bill to your, to your address. So because oh, of that, all these Thank you very much. Let me, let me tell you the Nigerian factor. See, when I hear people from abroad say all these kind of things, it sounds nice and fluffy and flowery. Yes, you do. They will catch you. First of all, the, the address you register, the Nigerian I know, likely not even register the correct address in their driver's license. <laughs> Maybe they will move 20 years ago. They, will, they, they, they moved around. They now go there. They will not find anybody. They now send their, their ticket to your house. Listen, this is Nigeria. It's a whole different system. Yeah. Now, in America, if you move from point A to point B, they know. Here, you live no in the business house, then I enter Lagos. Then I move to Topless House. Then you you know it. Then you, you do update anything. Yeah. Isn't this in Nigeria? You're talking about sense address. Who, who are you talking about? Please, let's bring the conversation back no, home. He's not here. He's not, he's not here. This scene. Let's, let's move it back home. Let's take a few comments. And uh, uh, that uh, you raised is even important in the sense that somebody buys a Nigeria used car. He does car change ownership. Mm. And there's a fine on the car for the old existing yeah. person. And you say, no, the new owner, Has even though be. there's a car ownership exchange yeah. document must pay for it. Every time he goes, you stop his car and you insist he pays on it. Mm -hmm. I confronted them last month on one or such and the VI on one or such. They insisted he paid. I allowed my brother pay. Um, he allowed Luso pay the money in Badagri, but it didn't sound yeah. right. Yeah. I said, there's a name on this fine. There should be a name on the fine. There's a driver's license the on the fine. And it was probably registered. Why can't you trace that person's name? They said they cannot. It's the plate number. They can't change. It didn't move. He's still in, in Nigeria. Like, when you're there, well, um, let, let me take some messages. Um, so, uh, boss Baba says, can Ima stop, keep the, calling somebody talk to this particular issue? Come on, every statement she gives other examples not related to this issue. <laughs> Let's keep the discussion to this particular issue. Yeah, uh -huh. Then she says, visible or not, citizens should always do what is right by law, regardless of who you are or what you do. Always having, saying, having said that, I think the police did the right thing by stopping him, and I'm glad he has apologized. Yeah, okay. Any other messages about that? Okay, we have to wrap up. I think calling in favors is a global phenomenon. Anywhere you're mm -hmm. in the world, if you are highly connected, you want to make a phone call. Yeah, so calling people is it's not, not a problem. It's not for favors, so but, it's for um, clarity to me that not for kidnapping. I mean, you can call in if a great business, I just messed up, please let me just, you know. Mm -hmm. But with, what, what we're trying to, the, the real conversation is, Bragging especially them. for those of us who are on television, who are quick to criticize it, who are one of those who project the rule of law and try to remind the government of their ill do, their wrongdoings, we also must be seen be good examples to be good examples of the law at yeah. all times so if i if i do something people expect me to obey the law so i think we carry more weight than we think we do and we as we as nigerians not just as tv presenters but also as citizens we must understand that we must um obey the laws and whenever we break the law humble yourself this is nigeria look this way we, 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 never, reach, we never reach the stage where buy tickets get to the address i'll send it to you mm. Wait now, humble. Okay. No, we yes. have. That's the system in Lagos. It's not, it's That's it's the not system. Everywhere. It's, not, it's, not, it's not everywhere. I mean, if, <laughs> let's not even go there. That's all we can take <laughs> on this segment. When we come back, we want another topic. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.